So here I am in Autodesk Revit 2016 with a architectural project opened up. It just has a couple simple walls and a slab. It also has a vertical and a horizontal reveal already placed in that particular wall. If I select either one, you'll notice in the type selector in the properties palette, it's called reveal. If we click edit type, you'll notice that there is a profile being used called default, which is just a rectangle. In the same manner, if I select the horizontal one, we're using the same tool. How do we go about creating our own custom profile to be used in this particular sweep horizontally or vertically? We'll head over to the big blue application menu R and start a new family. Scroll down to where we get to profiles and you'll notice there's a few that are available for us to work with. Profile, Hosted, Mullion, Rail, and Reveal. We want to work with the one called Reveal. So I'll click Open and a new family is created. Let's go ahead and save this as a new family and I'll call it Custom Reveal Profile 1. In this particular family we have two reference planes and if you remember from a previous course that you might have taken where a reference plane has defined origins is checked in the properties palette and where a second one is also set up this way where they intersect is the insertion point of the object that you're creating. You have text here to help you understand that this side is the actual wall and this side is the airspace. So since we are creating a reveal, we want to create the profile on this side. The text you can delete or you can leave, it's fine. You can, it won't show up either way. And in the Create tab of the ribbon, you have the Line command. I'll go ahead and use the Line command and create a particular profile. I'm going to purposely create one at a triangular shape. And the reason I'm going to do this is to help you understand the exact insertion point of where that profile is and what direction the profile is being placed within the actual project. If we want to, we can exaggerate this a little bit as well. That way we get a better understanding of how it's going to be placed. Now when you select line work, you'll notice you'll have temporary dimensions that pop up to help you define the size of this profile that you're creating. Let's go ahead and leave this as a generic oversized profile just so we get visual context. I'll save the file by clicking Save in the Quick Access Toolbar and then I'll load it into the project. I can either load into the project or load into the project and close this file. Since I'm going to jump back into this file later, most likely to make some adjustments, I'll just click Load into Project. That profile is now loaded into the project. We'll head over to a 3D view by clicking the house symbol in the Quick Access Toolbar, or you can go to the View tab of the ribbon, Create Panel, and click the house symbol for the default 3D view. If we select this vertical reveal that's already created, we can head over to Edit Types and create a new one based upon it. So we'll click Duplicate and call it Custom Reveal 1. <clears throat> we'll click OK. And within the Type Properties window, under Profiles, we're going to click inside here and switch it to the one that we inserted earlier. Now the key to seeing this information is that when you create a custom profile, it needs to be loaded into the project first in order for you to see it within this drop-down list. If you create the custom profile and don't load it in, then the only thing you're going to see in this list is what ha already has been loaded since prior. I'm going to click OK. And now you'll notice we have that triangular profile being used. 
remember the insertion point was right where I created that edge and the horizontal line is here the vertical up is here and the angle is coming down this way if we head over to the horizontal one we can just go ahead and switch it to custom reveal one in the type selector and it'll ask whether it can create it or not and if it can't create it it'll let me know I'm going to say cancel and the reason it cannot create it is because the thickness of this wall is such that the size of the profile is conflicting with it so we're gonna leave this one like that for now let's tweak and adjust the profile design so that it makes a little bit more sense for our purposes um, something a little nicer than just a simple tiny edge I can use the control tab on my keyboard to switch between one view and another and I'll do it twice to jump back to the actual custom reveal profile one family file so if I decide to delete this and create something a bit more careful maybe our profile contains some type of repetitive form work like this again let's go ahead and zoom in and select the line work and double check sizing if we need to a three inch reveal inside the wall is okay you have to take a look as well as to what type of wall that you're working with and that actual particular layer if we jump back to this particular wall by using control tab you'll notice that I have a basic wall exterior brick and CMU well the thickness of the brick if we click edit under structure gives us three and five inch, inch thickness so we may not want to have a profile that's so thick it eats too much into this brick so again I'll use control tab to switch back and let's make this say 1.5 inches and I can use the align command AL is the keyboard shortcut and just make my life a little easier this way if we select this little horizontal line here we can see it's two inches this way two inches this way this one is also two that one is also two and we'll make this one two just to keep things consistent if we select this line work we'll see it's set to be one inch if we select this line since they are aligned it should be one inch as well and that's fine so let's go ahead and save this file again and we'll load it into the project we'll overwrite the one that we have and now you can see in plan or in 3d what that profile is doing to that particular wall so this is how we take and create a custom profile for a wall reveal and physically apply it to that particular wall.